Okay, year seven. Um, apologies that we're not actually in the classroom to do this, but a quick run through. If you haven't already started Small Basic, this is Small Basic website, and you'll find this on the year seven OneNote, um, starting with Small Basic One in the Small Basic section. Ideally, what you want to do is download this. It will only, however, work on a Windows machine. So if you're using um, a Mac or Linux, then you're going to have to go onto here and go onto the uh, Small Basic Online, which looks uh, like this. And it starts to explain what Small Basic is. It says that Small Basic is the only programming language created specially to help students transition from block based coding to text based coding. And the key point of this is to kind of work on our basics, things like variables, and how we start to lay out programming properly. If I click on the Start Coding Online, you'll see it loads up the um, small basic website. Now I have had problems with this one loading occasionally and you'll see I'm using Firefox. When I use Chromium or Chrome it tends to be more reliable. But when it opens we should be seeing something like this. So you can see this one is commented out. So the program is just going to ignore this. But here we're starting to set up some instructions. So it's saying in text window we're going to write the line what is your name? We're going to create a variable called name, uh, which is going to be equal to text window read, and then the text window is going to write the line hello and what is your name. So if we run this, what you should see is what is your name. I'm going to write in Mr. Dyson, and that will say hello Mr. Dyson. And you can see what it's doing here is it's reading in your name here. So it's saying what is your name? whatever you read into it here, whatever you actually enter into the program here, it then stores as the variable name and it outputs this here. Now a key thing with variables is variables can only be one word. So if you're creating your own variables as we go through this, you need to make sure that there's no spaces between them. The instructions should then all be de below here. The only problem I've spotted so far the first one's pretty straightforward. You can just read through this and carry it out. And it should do exactly what you're saying, things like setting background colors and so on. But in Small Basic 2, it starts to set the size of the screen. And that works absolutely fine in the Small Basic Offline, but the Small Basic Online will no longer let you set the size. So if you type in Graphics Window Background Color Green, that will work. But Graphics Window Width, Graphic Window Height, they won't work. And you'll see this if you start to type it in because it will come up with an error, at which point you can just remove those lines or comment those lines out. Just to show you this, if we go back onto here, we're looking for graphic window width 300. So if we go into here and we start to write this in, so graphics window, I'm going to set width. You can see I'm already getting an error here, equals 300. And it's telling you there's an error. If we click down on the error here, it can say property graphics window width cannot be assigned. It's ready only, which I assume means it's read only. However, if you set, if we look back at the instructions again here, if you set some like graphics window background color, so we can go here, so graphics window background color, and then we set something like blue on this one and then run it, you'll see that we're now starting to get a blue graphics window alongside the other bit of work we're doing. So if you spot an error like this, by all means, either just modify it and try and work through it, or take a screenshot, paste it into your um, team section, and then we can all start to comment it on it and help each other. Okay. I hope this starts with a bit of an introduction and then we can kind of work a little bit from this together.